Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my SQL triggers. So firstly, what do you mean by triggers? So basically triggers is a set of SQL statements. It's also a special type of stored procedure that is invoked automatically in response to an event. So an event can be insert, delete, update. So let me give you one example. Let's say you are placing one order and after placing that order, you want to update your inventory or stock. Then you can use triggers there. So it will be like order will be inserted in your database. So one event is already done and on that event, your trigger will hit and then it will update the stock. So let me give you another example. Let's say you are having one student table and you are creating a new student and you want to keep an activity of it. So you can use triggers there as well. Let me show you this by example. So I'm going to use this database. So you can see I'm having one student table and one table is for activity log. So in student table, there is name, class, mark. And in activity log, there is activity record that I'm going to keep. So creating triggers is very easy. So let's go to trigger tabs. You can see in the menu we have triggers there. Go to trigger tab and add a new trigger. So you can see first one is trigger name. So I would like to give trigger name is like first is that what I'm doing and after that what events I'm doing. After that there is table. I'm going to use student table because new data will be inserted in student and after insertion, there will be entry in activity log. So it's like we are creating log of a new entry. So in a time, there will be after and in event, it will be insert. So in name, I'm going to write activity after insert. So in definition, I'm going to write my logic. So write begin and end. And inside that, I'm going to write my insert query. So write insert into activities, write column name. So here column name I'm writing is activity only. Pass values. So in value I'm going to pass, let's say new student is added and I need to get student name. So with new, I can get the new row inserted data. So if there is ID, let's say name. So if I write new dot ID, then whatever, so whatever new ID is inserted that I will be able to fetch. So I need name here. So I'm writing new dot name. Now press enter and our first trigger is created. So now let's go and uh, see how it will work. So whenever a new student will be inserted, then a row will be inserted in activity log for that student. So let me show you syntax before that. So you can see create trigger after that trigger name after insert. So you have to write events here on student table. So it's like definition, but we have written. So now let's insert a new student. So write, oh, let's say Steven, write five and uh, insert. So now Steven is inserted. Now in activity log, there should be one entry. So yes, there is one entry. So you can see name is also present. So what basically happened here is that whenever a new student is inserted, so it trigger our triggers and that trigger inserted a new entry in our activity log. So now let me show you another trigger after update. So let's say write trigger name. So here I'm going to create a student activity after update. So table name is going to be student and the time is after event is going to be update so after updating student i want to keep record of what's old student name and what's new student name so for that write begin and end and write insert into activity log and in activity i'm going to write values so here firstly for getting old name so for that you use old so create a string, write old name, old dot name. And uh, after that, write and updated. And in updated, what's uh, how you can get new one? New one is new dot name. So create this trigger. Now let's go to student table and let's say edit one row. So here I'm just changing name. Let's say R node 2. 
so here now data is updated now let's go and check in activity low so here you can see our data is inserted so here old name is also coming and updated one is also coming so now let me show you another trigger before one so here write student before let's say delete so here student table and uh, before and event is going to be delete so here before deleting this trigger will hit so here let's say i want to delete all activity logs of a particular student if i'm deleting a student so let's say write begin and end so in write delete from activity log so in where i need a student id but there is no student id in activity log so i'm just going to create one column for student id so just alter table with student id and save so here just uh, edit one row so let me just uh, pass one student id let's say four in this so where student id equals to old dot id as i'm deleting already existing id so that's why old dot id so now let's create this trigger so now let's go to student table and delete one entry so let's say i'm going to delete four okay delete now there is one entry that is present for activity so here now again refresh table activity log so now you can see row for steven is deleted here so i have shown you three example in this video so you can have more times let's say before insert so here after insert i have shown before update is there after update i have shown you so before delete i have shown you and after delete is also possible so these six type of trigger you can create in mysql so one thing you need to keep in mind that you should not use same table inside your trigger definition as it is already used while creating triggers so that's all in this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then please comment down below thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel